feel me? I, I hear you. All right. So let's, what? let's move on. You want to move on to the Suns? Yeah. Let's, let's, stay let's, here? let's talk about the Suns. All right. Who should the Suns not want to see in round one of the playoffs? I would have Warriors. 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 <laughs> Come on, man. Just because experience, like we've all said, you know, that backcourt is elite with, you know, Seth Clay, obviously, and then Jordan Poole. Um, you know, and the Warriors are kind of, you know, kind of been playing a lot better recently. And, you know, the addition of Wiggins is going to help, you know, in terms of the KD matchup. Um, you know, you can guard Devin Booker as well. So, yeah, I mean, the Warriors, plus the KD thing, I don't know. I think they would kind of like get that revenge on KD yeah. in the playoffs. So. I think all the reasons you mentioned are factual for sure. But let's think about this this way. For the Suns, a team who has only played, had KD on their team, and KD's only played with that team for about six games, right? Six, seven, eight games, eight, right? Six, seven, eight around, games. Around that range? Less than ten, I think. Why would they want to play a well-oriented, a culture team, and an experienced team who has won and been together for years? That has played a thousand thousand games together. That's the worst matchup for them in a series. mm -hmm. That really is. I really think that's the worst possible first-round matchup for them. It's a team who doesn't have experience in the Suns, Mm -hmm. that hasn't built that chemistry, injury issues, versus a team who is a well-oiled machine in the playoffs have won four championships. One of the greatest, you know, probably one of the greatest teams of all time, you know what I'm saying, if not the best. Yeah. So, they still have that culture, you know, like, I mean, they get Wiggins back. That's a dangerous team for the Suns to see mm-hmm. first round, so. They've played together for three, four years, and then obviously the big three of Seth Clay, Draymond, have played the last decade together. So, like, that experience versus the Suns kind of just thrown together. It's a scary matchup. Yeah. Not saying the Suns can't win that series, yeah, but you but, but you know what is even worse. I think, I think that's a worse matchup for the Suns because matchup wise, with the way the Warriors play, you know, Steph Curry so dynamic off the ball, Klay Thompson dynamic off the ball, Jordan Poole can get it going, mm-hmm. Wiggins can be active. Who's Chris? Draymond. Who's Chris Paul guarding? He's going to have to guard Steph. Exactly. He's going to. That's not good. Because <laughs> I don't think you want to put him on Clay. I mean, that's a size matchup, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Clay can just shoot over the top of him. You know, mm-hmm. Wiggins, you know, guard Katie, that's probably the best case scenario for, you know, the Warriors. But, you know, we know Katie's going to do his thing. Mm-hmm. But defensively, though, Aiden have to guard those pick and rolls. I think Chris Paul yeah. having to guard those pick and rolls. I think they're going to have a rough time, yeah, man. And good. I think, and I'm going to make this statement. Now, if they get a chance, so I think the Suns can possibly beat the Warriors if it goes to, like, the ECF. Or, I'm sorry, the, the Western Conference Final, the WCF. But if they get them first round without the Suns having any playoff, you know, you know, time or time to gel or get that chemistry, I think the Warriors beat the Suns in the first round. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about that? Because I understand you're a big, you're big on that duo, but... I just think for them to not oh, yeah. have to play, for the Suns not to have played any, you know, mm-hmm. playoff series together, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, for them to have a lack of chemistry, you know, injury concerns versus a team like the Warriors in the first round who is so, you know, used to being in the playoffs and used to winning playoff series and used to that playoff atmosphere. I think the Warriors could take down the Suns in the first round. I really do. No, I do too, for sure. I think either way, I think it would go six, seven games, probably seven games and. I would have to see how Wiggins plays, you know, that first couple of, of course, games. Yeah, of course, yeah. You know, he's, he's going to be a little rusty. Yeah. So that might... Be a restriction as well. That might benefit the, the, the Suns a little bit, but... Man, you know, the Warriors, they know KD's tendencies and, like, what he likes to do, but obviously they're not going to stop him. You know, they're gonna, they can slow him down a little bit, though. You know, hopefully. And I think defensively, you know, offensively, the Suns are going to be fine. You yeah. know, when you've got Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant CP3 able to facilitate, Aiden's going to mm-hmm. get, you know, he might do a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Those rules, those so rules players offensively, they're going to be fine. Yeah. Where I think the chemistry and the experience lacks is on the defensive side of the ball. When you have to play a team like the Warriors, dude, in the mm-hmm. first round, and you haven't played in the playoffs together, that is going to be tough. Not only that, but late in game when it's close, like who's... What are you going to do in that type of situation? You know, you're going to go to KD, you go to Book, 
Oh, you got a cave. I mean, yeah, but like, I'm just saying, like, they haven't. Yeah, yeah. They haven't, I played, understand what they, you're haven't they haven't, you know, experienced a nail biter game where like they have to make those type of offensive plays and get those tough defensive stops at the end of the game to, you know, give them a win. So, you know, defensively, yes, the the, the, the experience together is going to be a concern as well as what I just said. You know, the late game. Yeah. You know, For sure. Yeah. Five five point game with. Three minutes left. You know how are you, how are you gonna respond to that? Yeah, offensively you know? isn't my worry with the Suns yeah. at all. At all, they're they're gonna be fine offensively. And I think it's a go either way series for sure. But man, one of these teams, if this is the matchup going home in round one, is just crazy. So, hypothetically, if the Suns and Warriors face off in the first round, who are you taking? Based off all we talked about. <sighs> Ooh, I'm probably gonna go Warriors in seven. Now, if it was in round two or round three, I'd probably go to the Suns because okay. I'll, I'll see like their playoff success and you know chemistry start to form experience wise. Okay. So I'm kind of just basing it off like experience and you know obviously then Wiggins by that time would have you know his rust kind of like he'll be back to normal, but I, I would still take the Suns late in the playoffs. But round gotcha. one, I would go Warriors. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Now, who, who do you think the Suns would want to play, though? Clippers, Lakers? I think their best bet is to play a Clippers. You know, mm-hmm. you know, you have two guys in Kawhi and PG who have consistently been hurt through the playoffs. PG hasn't been back, you know. You know, they have Russell Westbrook on their team, you know what I'm saying? He's going to, you know, they can kind of, you know, maneuver how they want to guard him and stuff like that. You know, you Russ might not shoot the ball consistently from deep mm-hmm. each game. So, I think that's their best bet for sure. I think the Warriors is their worst bet. I mean, I think, yeah, I think it's the Clippers. I don't think they really would want to see the Lakers first round either. I don't mm-hmm. think that's a oh yeah good series either. I mean, I think the Suns would probably win, but mm-hmm. I just think that, uh, you know, I think the Clippers are probably the best, you know, case scenario for them. Yeah, I just got round. done talking about how I would pick the Clippers over the Lakers. But for this instance, I would rather, for the Suns, I think for their point of view, would rather play the Clippers. Yeah. Just because of like the broad AD thing, like I don't know, it's just a tough matchup. Not saying they would win, is, isn't it? <laughs> Not saying they would win. Does that make you kind of want to take the war, the Lakers over the Clippers? No, because I just think the matchup. I think the Clippers match up well with the Lakers, and I've shown so you they think, can beat them. You really, but, th- you really think without PG, Kawhi is going to carry them and beat the Lakers in a series without PG? I like because I understand they they played a great. Game against us, you know, and that you know that was also Lakers week. coming off a of back to back. But also, Bones Highland went stupid in the fourth <laughs> quarter, bro. So yeah. I mean, like, given how you want a Kawhi had seventeen in that first half, but mm-hmm. if you think he's going to do that against the Lakers every like in a in a series without PG and you still got to think about it, healthy PG, I'm not mad at you for you know taking the Clippers, but without him, bro, I don't know about that, bro. I really don't. <laughs> I don't know about it either. <laughs> <laughs> I know about it. I'm taking LA. Make your mafia stand up. Yeah, I don't. I really hope we see the Clippers Lakers sometime. This this era of you know the Kawhi, the LeBron, and the Lakers. I just want to see it once. Yeah, but I mean we've. I just go off what I know, brother. You know. Yeah. I've just seen Kawhi and PG not work out for years now. And I, mm-hmm. at least I've seen, you know, of course the Lakers have had their struggles, didn't make the playoffs last year, but yeah. bubble ring, whatever you want, call it or not, still what a ring. Yeah. So, 